Right, we're here at the Mizuno Performance Center for Old Man Pat's fitting. Matt, you fitted world number ones, former world number ones. Have you ever fitted clubs for an 81 year old hero? No, in a word, I have not. So I look forward to the challenge and we'll uh, yeah, see where we can go. Quickly, what's the procedure on this nice, bright, sunny day? Exactly the same as it would be for anyone. So uh, the beauty with, with how we fit and the, the process that we go through is it's consistent with everyone. Uh, so whether you are playing on tour, whether you're playing yeah. club golf, whether you're 81 or whether you're yeah. 21, uh, it's exactly the same regardless. So we'll have a little loosen up, we'll hit a couple of shots with your current golf clubs, yeah. um, and then we'll jump in on the optimizer, we'll hit three shots with that, um, and then we'll try and get to a good starting point as quickly as we can to then uh, work in some different golf clubs and, and get, to, get to a better set quickly and efficiently. So from, uh, from today, if we were to uh, draw up a perfect fit, a perfect set of golf clubs for you, but we're focusing on two points, what would you want to, what would you want to improve? Would it be distance, dispersion, height, feel? Height and distance. Is that more with your irons? Uh, yes, and I'm, I'm a driver also. Okay, if we can, if we can kind of focus in on, on not necessarily getting you an iron set, but getting you a set, yeah. That gives you a little bit more height, it's a little bit easier to fly, gives you a little bit more distance, that's your two kind of that's it. real points. Yeah. Okay, good. Hit a couple more with your, with your seven iron there and then we'll jump on in, so. That's a good move. So that there, is that kind of a, if you were out on the golf course, that would be a good, se good seven iron? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Let's jump in. Have you seen this before? Used this before? No. Okay, cool. So. What this, uh, what's it, uh, this little gadget does for us is it's basically a computer in the shaft. So it's a bit alien, it's a bit strange, yeah. but it's basically got things running through it like a computer. All right. Now what that does is looks at your goal swing, yeah. looks at what's going on at your goal swing, not only your head speed, but you know, how your change of direction yeah, occurs, yeah. how aggressive it is, how quiet it is. But in your case, and for a lot of guys that we see, it would be, um, it would be an interesting one to look at as a starting point in weight. Yeah. Um, because just because you've got a, um, a, a slower golf swing doesn't always mean that you'll need something very, very light. No. Um, you know, sometimes it can be a bit of a hindrance going too light. So right, yeah. we'll, um, we'll keep an eye on that, but this will, uh, this will highlight that. So I won't, uh, I won't explain too much more. I'll just explain what's coming through. So you just right. hold on to that for one sec and I'll get this turned on. You're gonna see a little light on the top there. Yeah. In a minute, that's gonna go red. And then once it goes back to blue, so let's just pop this here. Has that gone back to blue? Perfect. Give that a nice strike there, Pat. Yeah. Don't worry about the club itself, just uh, carry on as normal. Normal yeah. seven iron. Good. Cool, full set of them. Yes, right then. Good. Same rules apply. So just, yeah. uh, just tee another one up there, Pat. Look. Good man. That was nice, wasn't it? Yes. This is going to be an easy one, you know. Right, last one. Can I keep that? <laughs> not, not yet. You're going to be able to keep something similar to that in a minute, but not yet. What's coming through there is that, that gives us five pieces of information. So head speed, so that is just how fast you're swinging the golf club. Yeah. Tempo, toe down, kick angle and release factor. So the rest of it is basically what's going on during your goal swing. So how much the, the shaft is coming down, yeah, yeah. how much this way on the way down, how much you're holding onto it or letting go of it. You look at Ernie Els, yeah. it kind of looks like he casts it, doesn't he? That's he's right. really quiet. You look at Garcia, yeah, he's yeah. Trying, to, trying to kill the golf club, right? So two yeah. very different goal swings, but comparable head speed. That's so right, head yeah. speed is, is, is one part of the puzzle, but it's good to know what's going on yeah. with the rest of it. So. Cast your eyes up at the, at the numbers here just quickly while we're um, starting off because your carry, numbers, your, your carry number there is the one that we really want to improve. That's yeah. the one we really want to keep our eye on. You know, that, that there, 85 yards, yeah. that's the one thing I guarantee you fast forward 20 minutes, that number will go up yeah. purely and simply through modern technology. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, the stuff you've got there is, um, how long have you had that? Oh, five years, five right. years. Right, so you know, <coughs> not only have we got five years on our side of, of, of R&D and technology, yeah, yeah. but now we're gonna get you something that's a little bit more focused on you. That number will 100% go up. Uh, but on the whole, <laughs> your golf swing and your lines into the golf ball are very, very good. And 
and it's very repeatable and you know what you're doing, you're not trying to force anything. How tall are you, Pat? How tall are you? Uh, six foot. About this tile. Yeah. Perfect. We're going to try two different heads. Right. So one is going to be a lot more um, probably what you're used to. Yeah. And then I'm going to try something that's, that will look a little alien, but there might be method to the madness. So we'll have to uh, just see how it goes. First protocol is um, a conventional iron. I'm not going to yeah. tell you too much about the iron itself, what, what it should do, what it shouldn't yeah. do, but this would be kind of a uh, a like for like of what you've got in your seven yeah, iron to yeah. start with. So the, the shaft itself will be interesting and also the head, but we might tweak that head out for something a little different. So just hit a couple with that and yeah. just see how that feels. I was a bit thin. What does that feel like? Feels pretty good. Good? Yeah. Could try a slightly different yeah. iron next. So thinking out loud, and what will benefit your bag the most, it's, it's always quite interesting because building a bag for you won't necessarily include just 13 golf clubs. No. Because you'll often find that there'll be a few clubs in there that don't serve a purpose. That's right, yeah. Right, so you know, at the moment, your longest iron, you've got your five iron in there, haven't you? That's it. Is there a replacement for that five iron that's going to make life a lot easier? The answer is yes. Yes. Um, so, so we might look at look at having individual clubs serving an individual purpose yeah. as opposed to just a set of irons. Because, right. you know, fitting fitting golf clubs is all well and good, but you have to you have to fit to what works best what and what best, yeah. and, and and what will. Make it easier for you. So we'll try some different bits that yeah. will make it easier, and we're going to have a big emphasis on launch here. So yeah. hopefully we'll see the ball flight flying a little higher. Yeah. So just hit a couple more with that one. This is a slightly different head, same shaft yeah. for now. Yeah. This is a slightly different head. Good shot. What did that feel like? I feel honestly. That I'm felt good. Yeah. There you go. Right. So you know, I said to you, I guaranteed you more yardage. <laughs> yeah. That last one there is 95. So already there's 10 yards, right? Nice. Look at the height on that. Yeah. Different shot, different That's window, good. isn't it? Yeah. Different window. That's got to be out there as well again. Look, 96 yards. Consistent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, bank that feeling. We're going to keep the same shaft. I just want to try something now that might be, uh, might be a bit different for you, visually, certainly, because yeah. it's now into a, a more of a hybrid iron. But if you just pop that down behind the golf ball, so that there is a seven iron in a completely different, yeah. completely different clothing. So you've got the same loft as your seven iron, so yeah. you should see the same distance sure do. from a seven iron, but this would be interesting what it does to your ball flight. What does that look like visually? Do you like that? Yes, yes. It does feel, feels a nice weight and all. That's a nice shot. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's, uh... That's nice. Okay. All right, let me just tweak something there. Oh, we're there feeling packed. Good, good, yeah. And if you feel confident with him, you know. Do you like him? Yeah. Same thought again there, Pat. Just hit a couple just for that black flag. Okay, good to go. Well, that was a bit of a snatcher. Good, heavy, nice and heavy. Nice weight. Look at the, um, just look at the dispersion on those last three you just hit, look. So if you look at your, your ball flight on your current ones, yeah. if you just keep an eye on the overall height, yeah. see the difference in the height? I do. Look at that, all of a sudden you get the ball flight up. Positives, and also carrying it out there 95 yards rather than 84. Yeah. Positives. Uh, let me just tweak something in there. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer the look of an iron or do you prefer that hybrid iron? Uh, I'm, no, I'd rather have the iron. You do? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's hit a couple with that. It's a slightly different shaft now. Yeah. Same head, 
So what you've got in the head there, Pat, is a, it's our hot metal, which is uh, a very easy to head, very easy to hit head, very oh. forgiving. Yeah. Uh, Centre of gravity is a long way back. You've got a lot of uh, a lot of forgiveness in quite a sleek looking package. Yeah. You know, the last thing you want, I think, is to put down a, a golf club and you go, well, it looks. You know, yeah. you know, like when you put the, the, the hybrid down, you probably go, oh, I'm not in love with it. Yeah. Serves a purpose, but I'm not in love with it, right? That's right. Whereas that iron there, it still looks like a, a pretty sexy iron, right? Pretty iron, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just keep that same target line. Right. What does that feel like now in comparison? Very good. I just like the weight, you know. Good, yeah. Right, I have an idea. You like that one? Mm. Yeah. Get that hybrid one more well, Pat. <laughs> yeah. You have the hybrid one like tie line there. Yeah. That's what we were going to get at, yeah, down the line is he's trying to find um, trying to find the point in the set where change. Yeah, yeah, and we get into more of a hybrid, easier club to hit, That's right? Exactly. So, you know, I think you still want that. Um, the shorter irons in your bag, you know, your seven iron up yeah, certainly yeah. in an iron. Yeah. You know, you don't struggle with strike. Your strike's very consistent, very yeah. good. So we can find something that works best and is giving you nicer launch, but still in the nice feel. Yeah. Then the, the iron's the right shot for you. Yeah. I'm just experimenting there. That's a slightly heavier shaft. I just wanted to see what that felt like when you, for your change of direction. I mean, that, that, that last one you hit there was very good. Just um, hit another couple with that. Do you, does it feel different to you, the different shafts? Can you feel the difference in oh, weight? Yeah. 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 It's like I said, you had done it, it the weight in the head. Yeah. Good collection of shots. I just think the, yeah. uh, that slightly, that middle weight was giving you a little bit more spice or impact, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more power into the golf ball. Yeah. Which is what we want. Do you ever suffer from like any like aches and pains for impact? No. No? <laughs> Good. It's a nice shot. One more side, one more swerve ball. Now this is different, so this is this will be an interesting um, exercise. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the furthest one you've hit today, Pat, that. Just bear with me one sec. Interesting, eh? Feel good. Give me some feedback on that. Yeah. Did that one feel the best? That one did feel very good. Yeah. That one there was a hundred yard carry. Is it? Yeah. And that is steel. All right. So that's where the interesting part yeah. of, of the weight side of stuff. And, and the reason I asked you if you feel any discomfort or anything through impact yeah. is because steel gives you a little bit more feedback. Oh, yeah. But now in today's technology, not not. Uh, not a lot, yeah. you know, by no means it's not a scaffolding pole. <laughs> it's very, very light, very, very soft steel. Yeah. But what it is doing is giving you that little bit of extra weight that just gives you a little bit more time just to, to, yeah. to get everything in sync. You know, when we were talking about getting too light, you can be, it can yeah. kind of play with your strike a little bit and you can kind of, it gives you the opportunity to glance a little bit more. Yeah. Whereas having that heavier steel, it's still got a bunch of flex, yeah. oh, still right, very yeah. soft. But what that does with the extra weight is you can get a little bit more compression. You can get a yeah. little bit more idea of strike. And that one there, there's no, no uh, coincidence there. That's your highest launching shot with your furthest carry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we go back to the beginning. Uh, yeah. What are we looking for? Some higher launching right. clubs with some and better carry. Yeah, yeah, 100 yard, 100, you can go and play a 100 yard seven iron. Yeah. Go and play golf, right? Yeah, I'll go. So just hit, just hit one or two more with that, just to confirm. But does that feel good to you? Yes. Oh, I feel lovely. Good move. Consistent, eh? Yeah, I feel very good, this. Very good. 96 again. 6-3. Very nice. There's not a lot to dislike about that. Now, from that, I'm going to try something. In keeping that same shaft, Yeah. Um, we're just going to move that into now where you'd go further down the bag, whether you'd go for uh, a hybrid, whether we'd go for something that's going to get your distance up again, yeah. 
but keeping that same th uh, that kind of same feeling right the way through of keeping the flex right but getting the weight where we want it to yeah. so that's a prime example again of where the golf club doesn't know you swing in it right <laughs> you know you sometimes you'd look at it and you go right you definitely need something that's very light yeah. graphite it's not always the case you know fit guy ain't you you know you're <laughs> out there playing golf you you um you're doing the right thing so this is going to be a good a good what mix for you is that the hot metal? Hot metal, yeah. Yeah. Just the hot metal, not the hot metal problem. No, the hot metal, the hot metal will, it ticks all the boxes for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, the only reason I think you'd go for the Pro is if you really didn't like the look of it. But, you know, I think the, the, the hot metal for me does uh, everything we kind of really want it to do. It's very easy to hit, but it still looks good. What, what, what number is this now? I'm not going to tell you. All right. I'm going to keep that a secret so that you... Yeah. Uh, can have a blind test. Give me one sec, we're gonna try something. So that there, Pat, was a, um, the hybrid head with the slightly heavier shaft in. Yeah. So I just wanted to see if that, again, there'll be a point in the set where we have to go lighter again because yeah. length of shaft gets longer, head slightly different. So. I think we'll start your, your iron set at seven iron. You're right. Uh, and then we'll look at uh, maybe a hybrid five or six, yeah. but in a different setup. Different so set. we've kind of banked, if we bank your iron set and you yeah. go, right, that's your iron set looking good in that setup that we just had. Wedges we'll look at as well, because they flow from that. Yeah. But then down the other end of the bag, we'll just look at some hybrids that will give you a little bit more distance. That's it. But aren't a five iron, for instance. That's it, yeah. Okay, let's give that one a whirl there, sir. Good hit. Now that did feel good. Felt easy, right? That felt really good. Excellent, there you go, nice. Okay. So now we're building a picture in our minds. So you've got, your, you've got your seven iron in there. Yeah. At your 100 yard club, perfect. Now we, need to, now we need to, regardless of what is stamped on each club, we just now need to find you a club that goes 12, 15 yards further than that and we'll put that in the bag and then we can kind of flow from that. Does that yeah. make sense? Great, so your yeah. seven iron is your, is your gap in the set. Is in right, the set, yeah. That's your iron set and your wedges looked after. Now we're looking at the hybrid into the woods and then driver side. Yeah. So this should be a fairly easy one because it flows off your irons, yeah. just slightly different heads. That's it. So that there in your hand there is a, is a, a five hybrid. And I, that fell off better than you know, the one I had there. Good, okay, good. Just hit one more, two more with that. Yeah, good swing. I know I could never hit that, that one like that. No, agreed. No, no cause that's a di completely different yeah. shot, right? Yeah. And look at you carry on that, look, well, now we're up to 115. Yeah. Perfect. Good golf swing that, look at that. Look at the height on it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, right, let's bank that one as well. So we'll keep that in mind. Just so what are you saying about your door need? So, so, you said just no six iron, not needed, is it? Correct. Perfect. From exactly. Seven, from seven up. Or That's down, it. Or you want. Yeah. So, so where we're now building a picture in our own minds of where to go is, is you're, you're going to have seven, eight, nine wedge yeah. into your gap wedge, probably of the of the iron set, yeah. and then we'll look at a, a lob wedge or a sand wedge, lob wedge, that end of it bag. Yeah. So that chunk of your golf bag is perfect because. Yeah the gapping is is bang on right you know we're going to work off that 100 yard club yeah. and then we flow from there that's everything that end of it looked after now that there that we're going to put in there is a five hybrid yeah but where the lofts and where the the difference in the head construction changes it almost eradicates the need for a six iron yeah. so we're not going to have a six iron we're just going to have five hybrids seven iron upwards I'd say, yeah. because the gapping for those two is perfect yeah. so now from the the five hybrid yeah. we're going to look into uh, maybe a five wood yeah um, again keeping that same feeling of a um, little bit heavier but really really soft in its feel so interesting that part isn't it because you're gapping you don't need a six iron that's right yeah interesting isn't it yeah well it is isn't it doesn't really, it doesn't matter what, as long as it does what we want, as long as it does the job we want it to do, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter what stamps yeah. on it, yeah. And that's where a lot of people, I think, sometimes carry a lot of golf clubs that they don't use. Exactly. Or, or yeah. try and use them, and they don't really have a purpose. So yeah. the fact that you know you've got your seven iron doing a job, and you know you've got your five hybrid doing a job, it's on the it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go and hit them. Yeah. Uh, I just want to 
Are you enjoying it? I'm up to the moment. <laughs> Love it. Right. Ah? Yes, sir. Very. Very. Yeah, you can come be my forces partner anytime you want. <laughs> How many shots do we get? What are you now? 12? 12, yeah. 12. There you go. You can plot it down the middle and I can put him in the trees again. <laughs> Let's just hit a couple with your driver, Pat. Yeah. I'm going to give you a driver, driver to use and then we'll have a little look at the five wood off your driver. Yeah. So let's keep that um, same target with your driver. Yeah. So let's just hit where, just hit one or two with yours just so we can see what yours does and then we'll yeah. get you something that's a little bit better. All right, that, that's, that's as good as you're going to hit it, right, Pat? Yeah. That yeah. was perfect. Okay. Do you like that driver? I do, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. that was the right answer there. That was, yeah. <laughs> that was a good shot. So this is a starting point here, Pat. This will be interesting just to see how it feels. Yeah, yeah I've got, I got one now. I've got, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. What head's this, Matt? Oh, we're not knowing yet. Um, this is the X. Um, what so, did have before? Um, the previous generation. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a newer version, slightly different um, weighting. Yeah. Should help launch the golf ball, okay. should help you get it nice and high, but still create that, uh, that ball flight that we want. It is high, isn't it? Yep. Good. It's a nice opener. Okay, what, you sh what we should see from this setup, because of um, the, the slight differences in shaft and head, is a little bit of extra speed. Yeah. A little bit of extra play, but hopefully with the, with the head and the shaft kicking where we want it to, should try and yeah. get that ball flight up as well and try and make it a little bit more manageable. Yeah. That's nice. How's that feel? Brilliant. Good. That's better look. There's an extra 10 yards. That was up to 180, that one. And that just gives, through, through no, no different goal swing, but what Ooh. that's done is just giving you a little bit of extra speed. 76, yeah, so look, so the same head speed, Pat, it's exactly the same head speed, mm -hmm. but where it's just giving you a little bit more efficiency, um, better launch conditions, better, yeah. um, uh, better overall speed off the face, gets you another 10 yards, yeah. you know, and that's... It felt really good, that. Good yeah. and easy. So yeah. it, 10 yards seemed, it might not always seem like a lot, but when you're hitting it 170 and you're all of a sudden 180, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, percentage increase, that's a of really course. nice, really nice gain. So, you know, from a, from a driver point of view, Look yeah. no further. That's very, very good. So now we're just going to bridge that gap between that one we want to hit off the fairway, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Won't tell you too much about it. Right. Just hit a couple of those off the off the deck. Shots. Right. That's that. Give that one back, Pat. That <laughs> that's perfect, eh? Right. We'll bank that one. Bang on. So, so look. So now we're working back from your driver. Yeah. You got your 180 driver. 160 in your five wood, right, bank. Put that one in there. Yeah. And now look, let's see if we can keep that same thought. And just again, now we're bridging that gap, we're keeping our eye on that, remember that five hybrid? Yeah. So now, this should sit somewhere between the five hybrid and that one we just hit. Right. If you could just smoke this one and we can have one shot of this one as well, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, good work. It feels great, honestly. So hopefully that should be in there about 120, 125. There you go, 125. Yeah. You know, so from a from a uh, on paper point of view, you've got driver, you've got five wood, you've got seven wood, then you go into your five hybrid. Yeah. Into your seven iron. Yeah. All doing a great job. You know, really? all doing a great job because now you've got your your, your seven iron working at 100 yards. Yeah. You've got your hybrid in there at 115, 120 when you're getting a good one, 125, I think you get that up to 130 once you get some familiarity with it. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you're building this really nice picture of a consistent set yeah. with each club doing a different job. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, you're going to play, you're going to know your golf, it's not over complicated things, you haven't got golf clubs in there doing things that are just going to, that's just a, a towel carrier isn't it, your five iron. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff in your bag at the moment that can be decluttered yeah. and just go with that and you've got your perfect yardages. Lovely. Final part of the puzzle there, Pat, is uh, grip. Yeah. So uh, grip's an important one that it is the only piece of uh, uh, touch point that you 
control the golf yeah, yeah, club with. Yeah, so we yeah, need to make yes. sure that, that feels right. Yeah. Um, both in thickness, but also both in, in construction. We have tour velvet, which is very soft feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we have this more corded feeling, which we have in there at the yeah. moment, which is uh, cord in your left hand, yeah. a little bit softer in your right, right hand. Right, yeah. you, you don't wear a glove, do you? No, so no. Having that cord might be quite nice just to give you a little bit more it grip. Is, yeah. Feels nice uh, feel and cold and all, yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously we do that in uh, three different, well, more than that, but three uh, different sizes. So we have uh, what's called a plus four, so the grip itself is exactly the same diameter the whole yeah. way down, so it doesn't taper. So you know the one you've got in your hand yeah, here, it gets slightly down, thinner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no right or wrong with grip, it really is what you get hold of and you say, exactly. yeah, yeah, I love that. So let me give you a, just give you that plus four. So if you just yeah. grip that, look. Yeah. You can yeah. feel that slightly thicker? Yeah. That feel more comfortable? I like that, yes. And then if you just go one more extreme, because that's a, yeah. a mid-size version. So that might be a little bit too big. It is, yeah, that, that one. This one, is, yeah. yeah, I think because where you've got that mid-size, it, it, yeah. it, you'll find you'll struggle with strike yeah, a little bit because right. it feels too big, whereas that one's happy medium. It's got that, that um, cord in your left hand, softer yeah. in the right hand, but consistent taper it is. It is right the way that. through. So you happy with that? Yeah. Pop yeah. those in all of them. Fitting done. Yeah. Got to where I think we wanted to be with it. Um, consistency through the bag. Each club, massive emphasis on each club doing its sole purpose, it's right? Simple, yeah. So, you know, nothing in there that's cluttering the bag, nothing in there that you can just hang your towel on. Yeah, Each right. club is doing the right thing. So, driver into the five wood, into the seven wood. Yeah. And then we're going to go for the five hybrid, and then seven iron all the way through to lob wedge. Right. So, the, the hot metal that we have, um, pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge, and lob wedge, all within the same sort of family. So, yeah. all. Um, all uh, very forgiving, all very easy to use, uh, but flows right the way through from right, your yeah. seven iron. So um, I, think you'll, uh, I think you'll enjoy your golf a bit more I will. I certainly and I think, will. Uh, I think that'll be a nice improvement yeah. and it's been a pleasure. I don't think I've ever seen uh, anyone hit it as straight. <laughs> so it's been, a, uh, it's been a pleasure to... Uh, the pleasure's been all mine. Absolutely. Matt. Thanks for coming Thank down, you, Pat. It's been a pleasure. Thank absolutely. Hi, golf mates. I'm here at Mizuno to be fitted for new clubs. And I'd like to thank Matt and Dan I'm making an old man happy and absolutely spoiling me today. A wonderful day and I'd like to thank Liam for making it possible. I'm really going to enjoy playing with these new clubs.